Unanimous decision from the Broward County Commission. They voted to ban a conversion therapy for minors. CBS 4's Kerry Codd has more. Justin Flippen is the vice mayor of Wilton Manors. He's also a survivor of conversion therapy. That's the therapy that tries to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. That was what was explained to me that because I was a child and had my parents divorce at a younger age, that that somehow predisposed me to um, being gay, which uh, even saying it out loud makes absolutely no sense to me. Flippen spoke before the Broward County Commission Tuesday as commissioners voted to ban conversion therapy for minors by licensed therapists, meaning no one can force children to go to professional therapists who try to change their sexual orientation or gender identity. Flippen said conversion therapy can be enormously destructive. Younger people are subjected to um, depression. Some, some homes are not accepting and it leads to uh, LGBT youth homelessness uh, and then of course unfortunately some suicide. I felt like I was a girl and everyone saw me as a boy. For this 10-year-old girl, life's gotten a lot better over the past year. She came out as transgender at home and at school. The family spoke to CBS4's Ted Scouten. He said, I, I need to tell you something. And I was like, okay. And I say he, but I know that she's always been a she. But, and he said, um, I'm a girl. I've always been a girl. I don't want to lie anymore, and you need to know the truth. She and her mom don't want to be identified because of safety concerns. They're both thrilled to learn that Broward County commissioners passed this new ordinance. Other counties and states across the country have begun to ban this therapy, citing studies that say it's ineffective and dangerous. Supporters of the therapy say the ban is an attack on religious freedom and civil rights. Justin Flippen says it's not. These types of ordinances demonstrate that there are sensible policymakers among us that have no problem with making sure sure that our youth are just that, welcomed, valued, and protected. Now, the ban does not apply to adults who are seeking conversion therapy on their own or to children who are being counseled at their church. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.